Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. If you're on this video, you have probably tried to search for Microsoft Flight Simulator skins, liveries, how to install new airplane skins, and hopefully I can help you through this if you have the Steam version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. The creators of the Mega Pack of Clink's Mega Pack version 8 as of September 2nd, actually as of, uh, as of August 31st, um, I will show you how to go in with the Steam version and get these liveries on your planes. It's totally free. That's what's really cool about Clink's. Um, totally free Mega Pack. And so basically what you'll want to do is down in my description will have the Mega Pack link. It takes you right to a Mediafire link. Um, the only thing about this, guys, is it probably will take you a few minutes because they've um, there's so many skins coming out now for all of these planes. Uh, look, it's gotten it up to you know a little over two gigabytes so probably take you a few minutes to get that downloaded but once you're done with that you'll want to probably open it up with WinRAR you can get that free as well I recommend this over like the built-in Windows unzip uh, just because I've heard people are having some problems and you're getting some errors uh, with the uh, with the built-in unzipper so go ahead and just grab WinRAR if you can and that's just a little free version. Once you get done downloading that, obviously, you know, back here on uh, Mediafire, just click to download it. I already have. Um, click on that, and then it'll pop up in WinRAR. So you'll see it if you, if you, if you see it like this. It'll be kind of right in here and all your other little things. Double-click on the Mega Pack then double click on this and you can see if you hover over it there is the 152 747 a5 a320 so this is the big big pack this is what you need so then what I want you to do is you've got this off to the side here you actually don't need the website anymore I was just had I had this pulled up so you could kind of see some of the different skins that are on there there's a marine 747 air New Zealand we can actually just completely close out of all that don't even need it close OBS and uh, what I want you to do is on you'll typically if you know on your start bar down here click on this little folder the file explorer and if you don't see your app data folder right here or your steam apps don't worry you can click right here on the search bar and what I want you to do is type in percent sign app data percent sign so give that just a second in case you're watching and trying to type this in at the same time. Percentage, app data, percentage, no space. Hit enter. That's going to bring you right in here to your app data application. So what you'll want to do is scroll down until you see your Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. Double click on that. Then you're going to want to look for packages double click on packages and the last thing you have to double click on to get to this you're gonna wanna look for community think of your community think of mods that's where you're that's where you're wanting to go double click on community and you can see I have already copied mine over just a little bit ago just downloaded the pack but if you haven't yet it's as simple as going back over here to WinRAR hot whoops we're missing the A320 here Highlight all of your folders and then just drag. So I won't drag because it'll be another, you know, two gigabytes of, of uh, file uh, sharing there. But yeah, and then that's all you have to do. So what we're going to do also here is if we click out of all, you know, and th that will take a few minutes too because it's taking all of those skins and all of those files and it's putting it into your game. So we'll exit out of all that. And if you're looking at in game here and you go to your world map and then you go to select your plane type, if it, it right, it, it defaults to air, aircraft selection. So you've got this selected. If you go to liveries, look how you'll notice it's all blank here. So what I'll do is let me go ahead and back out of this now. I'll restart Microsoft Flight Simulator, which you're probably going to have to do to get, you know, to, to you know, make sure that process finishes. So we'll exit out, then I'll bring you in and we can look at the new, uh, we can look at the new skins that you'll have in the game you can fly around with. So hold on one sec. Okay guys, we're restarted, we're back in. So let's click on world map and if we did this right, we should see some new skins. Let's go to the 930, yep, there we go. So we've got a purple one, green one. Uh, we've got a couple different options on this one. I really, really like the 
dark blue and black one. Take you through some of these so you can guys kind of see how these look. That's a sleek one right there. So we'll be kind of running some of the... Ooh, gunmetal gray. Really cool with a cream streak. That one's awesome. But you can definitely tell, like, once you're scrolling through these, uh, like, you know, why it's 2.12 gigabytes. So, look, we, they've even they've even have a, a little uh, FedEx prop one in here. So, that's really cool. Let's go to aircraft selection. Let me show you some of the, uh, show you the uh, 747, yeah. Click on there. Liveries. American. Asi Asiana. Korean Air? Iron Maiden. <laughs> That's awesome. DHL. Lufthansa. Air France. People Express. British Airways. So not all of these have the big previews up, but you get the idea. Here's some previews. Let's go back and I'll take it. Let's look at, let's look at one more. Um, what do we got here? What should, well, let's check the, yeah, let's check the Cessna here. Liveries. Pretty cool. Royal Air Force one. There's that dark blue one again. Life flight. If you're doing any life-saving missions. Dang. Look at that one. U.S. Air Force one. That is all. Oh, look at that one. And then, of course, this really, really cool U.S. Air Force Gray back here. I like this one, though. Candy Red. <laughs> yes, please. But anyways, guys, yeah, I don't want to keep you here for long. I just wanted to let you know, if you wanted to get in here and change your skins up for free, the Clinks Mega Pack version 8 just came out a day ago. Definitely can't go wrong with it. And plus, like I said, it's free. You can change up the skins. And uh, you can do it relatively quickly. A um, little bit of a big file size, but they uh, these these uh, skins pack a lot of punch. Don't forget to smash that like button if you're enjoying this video. And as always, leave me questions down below if something's not working right for you. Even if I can't answer it, a lot of these guys read through the comments. And a lot of my community, they just start helping people, even if I don't get a chance to answer you. So definitely be on the lookout for this uh, for this pack being updated and uh, they're you know they're continuously working on these different uh different liveries and skins and uh, i hope you guys find this uh find this informative and enjoyable so anyways i'm s dan wolf and i'll catch you in the next video thank you see you guys